Steam Series, championed by your Southern California Toyota dealers. It's time for this week's Steam Series, and our focus, science, technology, and math. Kick it on, Jasmine Villa introduces you to a Maritime Traffic Control Manager. Hello, all stations. This is San Pedro Traffic. It's a rainy Wednesday morning, and Captain Patrick Baranek's radios are going crazy, one alert after another. With an urgent weather broadcast. Vessels are advised to take caution as the high winds. Patrick is general manager for the Marine Exchange of Southern California. We're monitoring all the ship traffic in the local waters. The Marine Exchange is to seaports what air traffic control is to airports. We're heading to Ancosa. Pat's territory includes the port of Long Beach and the port of Los Angeles and San Pedro. We basically just ensure the safe transit of all the vessels anywhere within 25 nautical miles. Ever since the latest COVID surge, Patrick has been monitoring shipping traffic from his garage in Torrance. Of the uh, we have currently 32 vessels uh, that are at anchor. All waiting in line to pull into a berth to have their cargo unloaded. So this is abnormal. We, we had a real big lull for a while, and now it's just an influx of cargo. While Patrick monitors the big picture from home, three vessel traffic controllers stationed at the water keep lookout on the ocean. Up to 75 massive ships from all over the world come in and out of port each day, delivering thousands of containers of cargo to be offloaded to trains and trucks. For Pat and his team, so the ultimate goal is to prevent collisions. Of all the steam disciplines, running the maritime exchange relies most on science, technology, and plenty of math. A ship's speed, its length, the depth of the water, all must always be taken into account in vessel traffic control. I determine what we call a CPA, a closest point of approach for two vessels. All that is done through mathematical calculations. And on days like this one, radar technology and weather science are also critical to averting disaster. Fog is a really dangerous situation on the water, so it would basically be like driving your car blind. You're relying completely on the sensors. Pat's path to the Marine Exchange started with a degree in math, followed by a two-week stint in a ship handling simulator. From there, Patrick worked 15 years as captain of the Catalina Channel Express, learning... The navigation rules, how to tie knots, the different types of weather, and how it affects your vessel. With his merchant mariner credential, Pat has the ability to sail the seas of the world. But he's happiest now helping other ships do that safely. Once COVID is over and he returns to his post, he most looks forward to the view. His advice to fellow ocean lovers investigate maritime education and head to the docks. The maritime industry as a whole has got so much opportunity from being a tugboat operator, a vessel traffic controller, to being a dispatcher in the harbor, to being a longshoreman. It's just a matter of where that fits for your desire. As far as he's concerned, wherever you land, it's really a blessing. Every day is different. That is a cool job. Mm -hmm.